Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you guys another way to do this if you guys don't like SM check. Um, it's called uh, Build a Bridge, Put the Middle, or Product Sum Method of Factory. So the first thing that I do um, is I find uh, the product of first and last term. So in this case, uh, my first term is 2, and my last term is negative 35. So I'm going to take 2 times negative 35, and that is, is negative 7. Okay, the second step is to find everything I can multiply that gets me the product in step one. So in that case what this means is the product I'm looking for is negative 70. Okay. So figure out everything in the whole wide world that gets me to do 70. So I can do negative 1 and 70, negative 70 and 1, negative 2 and 35, negative 35 and 2. Um, I can do negative 5 and 12, uh, 14, negative 14 and 5. And negative 10 and 7, and then negative 7 and 10. Those are all the things that I can multiply together, I think, that get me negative 7. Okay? Now, the third step is to find the sums of 2. Step 2. So, what does that mean? So, a negative 1 plus 70 is 69. If I add those two, I get negative 69. I get 35. Or no, not 35, 33. I don't know you can. Negative 33, positive 9, negative 9, negative 3, and positive 3. Okay? What I'm looking for is uh, I'm looking for the product to be step two's answer. And I'm looking for the sum to be the middle term. When I look at this, uh, when I look at this problem originally, I had a middle term of negative 3x. So I'm looking for a sum of negative 3, which that's what this is. Okay? So what I'm doing right now is I'm basically rewriting 2x squared minus 3x minus 35. Okay? If you guys remember, we talked about this in regards to a 5. And in my box, I know that this term is 2x squared, and I know this one's minus 35. But what I'm doing is I'm taking these two squares, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say negative 10x plus 7x. If I add these two together, I will get a sum equal to negative 3. Okay? So what I'm going to do is look at this row factor it by grouping. Like if I look at 2x, or a factor of the greatest common factor, so if I look at this, what goes into 2x squared and 7x? Well, I think x is my greatest common factor. Well, if I look here at negative 10 and negative 35, what is the greatest common factor between those two? 
that looks like that is a minus five. Okay. And when I look at these two, Okay. When I look at these two, what goes into 2 and negative 10? It looks like a 2. Okay. And then what goes into x squared and x? 2x. And if I look here, what is the greatest common factor between 7x and negative 3, 5? It looks like a plus 7. So what should happen is I'm just looking at this row saying, hey, what's the greatest common factor? Factor that out. I'm looking at this row saying, hey, what's the greatest common factor? Uh, take that out. And what happens is I get 2x plus 7 times x minus 5. So if I multiply this out, it should work out. So if I take 2x plus 7, x minus 5, it should work out. I get 2x squared. plus 7x minus 10x minus 35. If I add those two together, I get negative 3x. So it works. Let's look at this next example. That's a pretty big one, I understand. But the first thing is I want to take 7 times negative 21. Okay? And when I do that, I get negative 147. Okay? Um, step 2. I want to identify all things whose product is negative 147. So I can do um, like 1 and 147, negative, negative 1 and 147, negative 147 and 1. Um, negative 3 and 49, negative 49 and 3, and I think it looks like it's negative 7 and 21, and negative 21 and 7. Okay? Step 3, if I remember, what was step 3? Step 3 was to find the sum. Find the sums of step one. So if I look at that, step three, um, I would get 146, negative 146, positive 46, negative 46, uh, positive 14, and negative 14. Step four is to choose the one that is equal to the middle term. If I look at that, it's negative 49 and 3. Okay? So it's negative 49 and 3. Now what I'm going to do is make my box. And I'm putting my first term, 7k squared in it, minus 21 to my lower one. And then I'm going to replace, I'm going to do negative 49x and positive 3x in my box. Because if I add these two together, I get negative 46. So then I factor out the greatest common factor for each row. Okay? In each column. So like here, the greatest common factor, that should be a K, and that should be a K. So between 7K squared and 3K squared is K. The greatest common factor between negative 49 and negative 21 is negative 7. So now I'm going to do that for the up and down. So I got 7k squared and negative 49k, which is 7k. And then 3k and negative 21 is positive 3. So if I do 7k plus 3 times k minus 7, I should get what I wanted to begin with. So let's check to see if that works out. 7k plus 3k minus 7. So I got 7k squared plus 3k minus 49k minus 21. It works out. This is your factored solution. Hopefully this helps. Um, it's a different way of doing it. Um, we'll talk more about it tomorrow.